All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your general love reading. So let's find out what's going on with you and your divine counterpart. All right, if you want to book something personal, my information is down below in the description box, as well as access to a self-love course, a twin flame course, and guided meditations. All right, but let's find out. So what is going on with you and the person on your mind? Okay, so we have the conclusion card here. So it looks like this situation has ended. So you're inquiring about someone um, where the connection between the two of you has ended here. Let's see. We do have the Divine Masculine card. Okay. Um, so this could be your Divine Masculine that you're getting a reading on. And it seems like currently this situation um, has, has ended or there's a separation with you and your Divine Masculine. Okay. So that's what we're seeing here. So let's take a look at see what's going on. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the spread that I created for the zodiac signs for this reading. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, instead of pulling cards... As we go, I'm just going to pull the spread so we can get an overall idea of what's going on and then we'll get some clarifiers if we need them. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's going on with you and your Divine Masculine. Okay. Alright, so their current energy towards you, the Three of Wands in reverse, the connecting energy. Yeah, definitely separation. Three of Swords is the connecting energy. Your energy towards them, the Four of Wands their intentions towards you, um, the challenge, five of cups, okay, your intentions, <laughs> and likely outcome is the five of wands in reverse, okay, so hopefully you guys can see that, all right, so really interesting, I feel like, you know, with the connecting energy, we have the conclusion card, um, you know, the three of swords is the connecting energy, the challenge is the five of cups, so I definitely see a lot of heartbreak, I see a lot of grief, um, pain, separation here between the two of you, and really the challenge is being able to overcome this loss, okay? It seems like your Divine Masculine is really wanting to retreat from this situation. Um, they're really kind of avoiding this is what I'm getting. Now, it doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you because I do see that with the Page of Swords. Their intentions are just to stalk you. Their intentions are to watch you from afar, but I'm seeing that they just want to stay in their comfort zone right now. So a lot of them are not really wanting to approach you, okay? With the Three of Wands in reverse, they're wanting to stay where they feel safe. Um, we'll take a look as to why, okay? But what's interesting is your energy, your energy towards them is the Four of Wands. So you're really focused on this union, coming together, having a relationship, um, and your intentions are to come back around to them or to think about them constantly. Six of Swords in reverse. This is my card of like can't get someone out of your head. So a lot of you guys, you haven't been able to stop thinking about them. Um, but for some of you, this is about coming back around, okay? Coming back around to them, wanting a commitment. It's telling me that the outcome is the five of wands in reverse. So there's still some sort of challenge here. Okay, let's break this down and see. Alright, so why do we have the three of wands reverse? for the Divine Masculine. The Four of Cups, okay? And why is the Page of Swords reversed here? The Seven of Swords in reverse. And look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'm just telling you, like, your Divine Masculine is stalking you so much. Page of Swords reversed twice. But the thing is this, they are really staying in their comfort zone. I'm seeing that they are not wanting to face any sort of rejection right now. Um, with the Four of Cups coming through, clarifying the Three of Wands in reverse, you're dealing with someone who is just not wanting to face this right now, not wanting to deal with this. Um, they could be distracted with other things or they're just not ready to take this cup right now, okay? Um, I do see that they're watching you a lot because they are trying to figure out, you know, how to fix things at some point. You know, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, they have been thinking about how to, you know, rectify the situation, how to fix things. Um, but I don't see them being ready to do that quite yet because the outcome is the five of wands in reverse. Let's see why this is here. 
And for a lot of you, yeah, we have healing going on. For a lot of you, it could have been your divine masculine who put the end to this connection. So they might have been the ones who shut the door on this, who walked away from it. Um, and I, because I'm seeing here the divine masculine turning their back. So for a lot of you guys, your divine masculine did turn their back on this connection. And they're, you know, with this four of cups, it just looks like they're not taking this offer right now. I think there could be too much pain. Let's see, we have the three of swords as the connecting energy. Yeah, that's why this isn't moving forward, because there's still more healing that needs to be done. And, you know, with the likely outcome being the five of wands in reverse, it's clarified by the star, which is telling me that the internal conflict um, could be resolved with healing. All right. So allow for divine timing. Allow for spirit to heal you, to heal the connection. It's about having trust. I think a lot of you guys are too focused right now on um, having some sort of commitment. Yeah, see, exactly. You guys are too attached to this idea right now. You're too attached to commitment. You're too attached to the um, union, whatever it may be. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And that could be why your Divine Masculine is turning their back energetically. It's like pushing them away. If you guys um, haven't enrolled in the Twin Flame course, I recommend it because it explains like push-pull dynamics. Um, and, you know... Things happen energetically. So people don't realize, but we're all connected vibrationally, energetically. So when you're heavily attached to someone, um, especially if you have a very like divine connection with someone and you're very closely tied to them, if you're super attached to them, energetically what's happening is it's repelling them. So they can't even stay, it's like energetically they can't, even if they wanted to, they can't stay near you because of the energetic pull. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to kind of alchemize your energy, how to balance that out, then I do recommend the Twin Flame course, and to even build on that would be the self-love course, okay? Um, because I'm seeing a heavy attachment, which is probably why they have turned their back. Why is the Six of Swords reversed for you guys? Yeah, you guys want to work on this. So you and your Divine Masculine are in completely different energies right now. The Divine Feminine in this sec in this in this well, I guess section or reading, I'm just seeing you guys as really wanting union, really wanting commitment, being attached to it, wanting to come back around, wanting to work on things, and your divine masculine is really wanting to just be in their comfort zone. They want to be alone. Four of Cups. I'm seeing someone who literally, I don't think they're happy about it, but it's just like they want to be alone. They want to stay where they feel safe. Um, they still watch you though, because obviously the interest is still there. They're still stalking you, but that's their only intention is to just keep an eye on you from afar. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's take a little, let's take a little bit of a deeper look in terms, in terms of their uh, emotion towards you. All right, so how do they feel about you? How do they feel? How does your divine masculine feel about you when it comes to the heart? We have irritated, yeah. So a lot of them right now are just feeling like they need um, time, okay? With this irritation card, maybe you did something. I know this might be a little bit triggering, guys, um, but keep in mind, you guys know I don't sugarcoat readings. But some of them are feeling irritated by the connection, irritated maybe by something that you said or did. Um, so for a lot of them, they're experiencing that kind of mirror, right? So keep in mind, if you did do something that irritated them, it's probably a reflection of them anyways, which is why the irritation is there. Let's clarify this. The nine of wands. Yeah, they just have their guard up right now, okay? So some of them are just feeling really bothered by this situation, really bothered by this connection, and so they have their guard up right now, all right? Let's see how the divine feminine is feeling. How is the Divine Feminine feeling? So you guys are really feeling powerless right now, okay? So especially if your Divine Masculine did turn your their back on you, um, and maybe they put an end to the situation, because for a lot of you guys, I just feel like they're not open to this right now. Especially with the Nine of Wands, it's like they're very, very, very guarded, okay? Um, and they're looking at this connection as something that's kind of bothersome right now for them. It's like they just want to be on their own. They don't want to take any offers right now. They are keeping an eye on you, but it's like they're just keep, they want to stay to themselves right now. And so for, I think for a lot of the divine feminines, it's causing them to feel powerless, causing you guys to feel powerless. I don't know who's watching, so I don't know if it's divine feminine or divine masculine, but it's causing the divine feminine to feel powerless because you guys are so heavily attached to wanting something and wanting to work on this, but they're in a completely different energy. Okay. 
Let's see, what is the advice for the Divine Feminine in this situation, Spirit? So what is the advice for those who are resonating with this right now? What is the advice for Divine Feminines who are dealing with this? We have the Moon in Reverse. So you guys are you guys are needing to face your shadow. Okay, let's see here. There's some shadow work, yeah. Yeah, we do have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups in Reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, your Divine Masculine did walk away from you. And I think this has triggered your, your shadow your shadow side okay um, I'm seeing a lot of emotional unavailability right now from the divine masculine but keep in mind this would be mirroring your emotional unavailability as well but in a different sense so for a lot of you guys you know what you're being called to do is your shadow work is to look at the parts of yourself that um, you haven't yet addressed the parts of yourself that maybe you're scared to face okay Let's take a look at this. Clarify the moon in reverse. Clarify the moon in the re reverse for the divine feminine. Clarify the moon reverse for the divine feminine spirit. Yeah, wow. This is going to be tough for you guys because we have despair. So for a lot of you, this has sent you into like a, like a sense of despair. Like you have, you're feeling despair. And this has also brought up jealousy wounds. Okay. Um, so I, I feel like for the Divine Feminines right now, I, if you're resonating with this reading, not all of you will because it's just general, it's, you know, it's timeless, but um, for those of you who are resonating with this reading, this could be a tough time for you because I feel like what your Divine Masculine is mirroring back to you is <clears throat> the separation with yourself, um, needing to needing to align with yourself wholly because there's a lot of parts of yourself that you've sort of pushed to the side, the moon in reverse, a lot of shadows here that have caused you to maybe fall into a sense of like despair. You guys could be feeling despair. Again, I'm seeing there's jealousy here as well that you're needing to face. Okay, so um, again, this might be a bit of a triggering reading. So for those of you Divine Feminines who are going through a hard time, Keep in mind that there's a purpose to this, right? Um, whether it's a spiritual connection or anyone, everyone comes into your world to kind of reveal something to you, to kind of show you, okay, this is what you still need to work on, right? This is where you're at. Um, so try to take the lesson, as hard as that may be, try to take the lesson, because a lot of you guys are in this energy where you're feeling powerless right now, okay? So in order to get your power back, you have to look at, okay, what is this revealing to me? What do I need to heal? What do I need to work on? So going within, because I see that there's some there's some healing that needs to take place here with the star. But this is divinely guided healing, okay? So we'll close off with uh, a few messages from your divine masculine. Okay, so what are their messages for you? Yeah, so we literally have the card, I know we're twin flames. So for those of you who are dealing with um, this specific divine masculine, they, they're aware. Okay, so they know that you're twin flames. I don't want to keep hurting you. Okay, so a lot of them could have, you know, at a subconscious level walked away from this because they knew that they weren't in a place to really give you what you wanted and they know that they would hurt you anyways. Okay, um, no one makes me feel the way you do. Okay. And we have you're so beautiful. Okay, so this is their message for you. Um... But yeah, that's another thing to consider as well, that from a higher spiritual perspective, sometimes when someone leaves your life, it's actually to your benefit because if they were still in your life, it could cause you even more pain. So keep that in mind. Some of you guys are just needing to shift your focus to like the higher purpose, the higher reason for why things happen and try not to get too caught up in like the, the pain of what this is, is triggering. Um, it's not that you want to ignore the pain, but you want to see the, the reason for it. Okay, because your divine masculine has, you know, their own work that they have to do. All right, they have their own work that they're being called to do. So typically when twin flames do separate, it's because both have healing to do. All right, but that's what I see here for you guys. So I truly, truly hope that this reading was helpful. Um, as always, if you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below, as well as access to a twin flame course and a self-love course. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.